All right, we good. All right, Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, the of the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and Shalom to let out there doing this work of faith and labor of love and truth sincerity. Uh, you know, uh, but I just wanted to go in the spirit, you know, real quick about, you know, these uh, events that's been happening lately, you know, with these uh, race riots and stuff, you know, happening down there in uh, North Carolina, you know, the major prophecies that's that's coming to pass, you know, right before our eyes. You know, so with that, you know, any one of you brothers, uh, you know, could kick it off. I got Michael, uh, chapter five. Michael chapter five and uh, verse seven. And it says, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as they do from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both tread up down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. Yeah, that's heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's heavy because, you know, that's that's what the Heavenly Father is going to do. He's going to put the spirit upon Jake, you know what I'm saying, to run through these Edomites as well as these other nations. You know, here it is. The average Edomite trains. You know, the average Edomite trains. You know, they're into all types of MMA and things of that nature. And then the average Jake, is in the club, he's on drugs, worried about the next woman he could pop, you know, but that's still the Heavenly Father's chosen seed, you know. So in that day, you know, the Heavenly Father's going to put this uh, 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 a great spirit upon Jake just to tear through these Edomites, man, you know, and devour them, you know. Uh, yeah, no, and uh, touching on that, uh, that, that was a perfect scripture, because, uh, like how Jake, you know, go through and uh, uh, tear it from pieces and all that. Because um, if you watch this uh, clip up um, with these Jakes, hey, man, they tearing this Edomite a, a new asshole, man, dragging them all through the parking lot, kicking them, punching them, stomping them, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Jake wilding out there, man. Jake wilding out there. You know, it's, it's heavy, man. And, you know, we were talking about in the camp, too. They were saying, like, a lot of them people, this is how you know Esau is, is setting these things up. Because they said like a 70% of the people that's out there, they have out-of-state IDs. They're not from there, which goes to show that they obviously planting those people in there as moles to, you know, to get things started with the race riots and all that. You know, they said a uh, uh, dude, uh, George uh, Soros, that's known to fund, you know, like different uh, uh, events and stage events and stuff like this. So he put like 500 uh, million or something behind like Black Lives Matter or something like that, which just goes to show you how much Esau has a hand in all this, you know? Kind, it's, it's it's a big act, man. You know, um, you could tell, like like you said, you know, basically Esau's behind that whole thing, man. You know, e even the people uh, riding, you know, because mm -hmm. Esau creates these different situ situations, uh, but for Jake to do it, just so Esau can bring martial law, man. You know, Esau has what he has called uh, crisis right. actors. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, basically, he he plays off that situation, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got a lot of Jake down there that's actually affected by, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, so-called Negroes getting shot. You know what I'm saying? So they all emotional. They mad. And they pissed off. But at the same time, you know, Esau's behind that thing, too, man. And I, I got another scripture. Oh. It's uh, Genesis chapter 49 and verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched down as a lion, and as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Hmm. Right. You know? The Heavenly Father's going to have to rise Jake up. Because here it is, on, on the, the Jake is waking up to a certain degree who their enemy is, who their oppressor is, but the Heavenly Father is slowly rousing Jake up. You know? But, you know, through my belief, you know, these jakes are really going to start riding against the so-called white man and his oppressor when they start taking away those benefits, man. Yep. You know, the, the Heavenly Father is slowly waking them up to who they actually enemy is. So once, because because we was getting into this in camp, you know, Jake is selfish. Jake don't really want to take up arms or go up against their oppressor until it hits home. You know, so a situation may happen out there in uh, Charlotte, you know, and 
uh, uh, say, say another Jake in New York ain't really affected by it. They may be affected by it emotionally. They may shed a couple of tears, but they're not willing to do nothing about it. Right. However, it's going to take, however, it's going to take for them to lose their, you know, the TRA, you know, benefits or, you know, the child support benefits, uh, you know, the Section 8, child's, uh, whatever the case may be, food stamps. Once, yeah, so, yeah, WIC, you know, once the, once the devil takes that substance from them, the only uh, solution is to go rob and steal and kill for it. And they're going to go right after the so-called white man for it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and that, that goes to show, too, like, um, now you're bringing that scripture out, you know, uh, who shall rise them up, you know, because, you know, Osman Shihau Bashmiyah Shah, you know, that's, you know, bringing this uh, the past, but he's putting the spirit on these Edomites, you know, to get these things stirred up. That's why I said um, Revelation 17 and 17, for the Most High have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give, you know, uh, their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words the most I shall be fulfilled. So it's the most I putting it within the Edom within these times, you know, to stir these things up, you know, because it's time for for uh the, the judgment to come upon this place, you know, and um you know, speaking on the benefits real quick, um it's uh the book of uh Ezra chapter nine, and um I started uh verse I started at verse eight or well, verse nine. Uh then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it, you know? So you got it, because I... Yeah, yeah, you, you janks out there, man. All right, you use uh, so-called Negroes, West Indians, and Puerto Ricans. You know, you, you different tribes. Y'all receiving benefits in this society, but y'all don't know the Lord, man. Because here it is, we out there on the highways and hedges every weekend. Whether it be some brothers go out Friday, uh, some brothers, brothers, major brothers, well, excuse me, most brothers go out on uh, Saturday, and uh, and a lot of brothers go out on Sunday. You know, but the the, the point is that the prophets are out there warning y'all every, every weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of us probably go out during the week, but the point is that you got this word going out strong. It's going out through the, through the uh, web, going out through uh, YouTube, all right? You know, you can't escape this truth. It's everywhere, but you don't want to get this. Instead, you want to just live your life comfortably. It's going to go on forever. You know, you receive them benefits. That, you know, a lot of a lot of Jake's on welfare, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, they don't want to get a job. <laughs> One black bitch came out and said on the video, well, I'm taken care of. I don't got to work. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you receive benefits, right? That 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 WIC, uh, SNAP, you know, whatever whatever different government programs they got out there, but you don't know the Lord, all right? You know, so you're going to dwell in torments. Y'all going to be getting shot down during the hour of martial law, okay? You know, uh, foreign troops, you know, you know it's a foreign troop, man. They're not going to give a damn about shooting you because, you, uh, they don't care about you. They're, they're from another country. All right. They're going to be raping you, different women, you know, uh, killing you men. They're going to be hollering y'all off to these concentration camps. All right. The, the scriptures say in, uh, in Second Ezra how, uh, how the cities are going to be desolate of men. You know, so it's going to be like ghost towns, man. Why? Because they're going to haul you people off to these concentration camps, man. You know, torturing your ass, uh, uh, programming you. Okay. Because the New World Order, that's hell on earth. You know? Because we always speak about hell, hell means the grave, but hell is a condition that's played out on the earth, man. You know, you Israelites don't even realize that y'all still in slavery. You know what I'm saying? You, you're just content with uh, with these crumbs that's falling from the master's table. You're content with what the slave master give you, man. These different jobs. So y'all are comfortable, man. But going back to this situation in Charlotte, you know, uh, you had that one Jake, what's, what's his name? Is it Keith Scott? Yeah, you know, man. but uh, that, that, that one Jake, he, he got shot. You know, y'all want to make a big deal about it. But we, we, we uh, got into that scripture in Genesis. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, man. Okay. The, the, the Lord said, who shall, who shall rouse him up? He going to rouse y'all up. It's not going to be enough with just these agent provocateurs and Esau coming in there and stirring shit up. You know, because mm -hmm. that's, that's what they're doing down there. You know, but the, the most side going to have Esau kill waves of you. 
All right. And I, I got a scripture uh, for, for one of you brothers. You can get this sharp. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. That's right. And who's the king at this present time? Edom, the so-called white man. You know, so what? His heart is in the hand of the most high. You know, the scriptures tell us how the Lord, you know, governeth the world in the palm of his hand. Meaning he controls, you know, the mind of whoever's ruling to whichever way he wants it to go. Here it is. We in a time and a season uh, of race wars, race riots, martial law. You know, the heavenly father set the so-called white man to be a, 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 a sword unto Jake, man, a whooping stick unto Jake, you know, because when you're a child, you know, and you go off and you do something wrong, what the belt, you know, is for that rod of correction to get you back in order, right. you know, to get you back right to where your mind's supposed to be, you know. So what the Heavenly Father doing now is using the so-called white man as his whooping stick. So the book of Psalms, the chap 17th chapter, the 13th the verse tells us how uh, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. So what the Heavenly Father is putting the spirit upon these Edomites to chastise Jake, to show him who their oppressor is, to show him who their enemy is, man. Because Jake has Stockholm Syndrome. Jake loves their master. You know, Jake loves their oppressor. You know, they envy the ways of our oppressor. Therefore, they like to join into their lifestyle. You know, but now we're in a time and a season to where Jake is waking up to who the enemy is, man. You know, and he's using his prophets. You know, the Lord is using his prophets to tell you who, who, who the enemy is, you know, and they haven't been listening. So now what Jake, the, the, the wicked of Jake, they have to see a sign. Mm -hmm. And what this sign is, Jake constantly being put to death by these Edomite cops, man, the so-called white man, you know. So that's the heavenly father putting a spirit upon these devils to, to, to put you, uh, Jake's, you Israelites to death, you know. Yep. Hell on earth. <laughs> Hell on earth, man. We, You know, we. Hey man, you know a lot of us brothers in the truth, man. We watch different uh, movies mm -hmm. associated with the time of Jacob's trouble. So I mean, we can only imagine what what the Lord is going to do, man. Because scriptures say how it's not 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 just about the Lord's word, but His power behind His word. Because mm -hmm. we speak His word all the time, man. But when the Lord puts His word in action, when He makes yeah. His word come to pass, you get the full. Uh, meaning behind it, you you people gonna see, man. Y'all gonna see who y'all enemy is. And I, I got a scripture. Uh, I got another scripture. This is uh, Daniel chapter four, verse seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers, and the and the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will. And set it up over it the basis of men. Kind of, yeah, and you know that that's what the Most High has done. He he rules in the in the kingdom of men. So it's the Most High, you know, who who is doing all these things, you know, and, and bringing these judgments to pass, you know, by his whoopers they got a blood got into, which is you know Esau these Edomites, you know. But now the tables is is going to be reversed because Lord willing, I, I saw this clip earlier that I want to uh, uh, post up. You know, uh, you know, this Edomite, you know, he 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 pretty much comparing um why you know uh Jake is being killed out here nowadays. He and he gave reference unto old Egypt and said, How was it when Pharaoh had the children of Israel back then? He compared back then unto now, man. Which goes to show you through the spirit that this is that time, that uprising, just how we had in Egypt when the Lord told you know uh, the Pharaoh to let my people go. And that's the same thing today. Esau is not going to let us go. They're trying to come down upon us, you know, with this martial law, the race riots, and all this, and ultimately the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. But now the Lord is stirring up that spirit, so we're going to kick up and destroy these devils, man. But um, real quick, this is um, uh, yeah, uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter twenty-five, verse four, and the Lord hath sent unto you all His servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened nor incline your ear to hear. So what the Lord always sent, you know, his servants, the prophets, you know, uh, rising early, way before, you know, things come to pass, man. That's why we out here trying to warn, you know, these, these niggas out here, but they not going to hearken no matter what. And then it's going to be too late. 
And that's when they're going to be caught up in that in that pitiful case and caught up in sorrows, man. You know, because like the scriptures say that um there'd be much more that, that perish than are going to be saved here within these last days. And we know those that are only going to be saved are those of the elect, you know, the 144,000 and the one third, you know, from this coming destruction here in America, man, you know? So a lot of these people out here, they're just going to get caught up, caught off guard as a thief in the night, you know, but us being in the, in the spirit, you know, we got to stay upon our watch and, and know the things that's coming to pass so we could be in the right mind frame and preparing ourselves for the pearls and, and having faith ultimately to get through, you know? Huh. If I could add right quick, you know, the scriptures tell us in Romans, the eighth chapter, that all things work for the good to them that love. Yahweh Yahweh You know, and, and Matthew's the 24th chapter, you know, when when the disciples inquired to Yahweh Shai will be the signs pretty much of the last days. You know, he was getting into how one of the key things was nation was going to rise up against nation. You know, there's different nationalities rising up against another nationality. Pretty much. The, the Israelites coming to, coming up against this devil, you know, so 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 we glory in these times, you know, we rejoice in these times, you know, the average Jake, you know, they can't rejoice because they don't look at the big picture. They don't know what's coming next, you know, but we've been blessed with the understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, like Apostle Tahar said, we know the future, you know, we have something to look forward to, you know, and we doing the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai as far as teaching his word. In in a, in a ushering of the kingdom, you know, so so we rejoice in these times. We're ecstatic, you know. But what two thirds is is is, is sorrow? But hey, what's the scripture say? Uh, for for ye shall laugh now, but ye shall weep, you know. Right. So what? While Jake was laughing, we was the ones weeping. We was the one mourning, you know, crying out, teaching his word. But what now? Like the like the brother you said, Kazak, you know, it's one thing in speaking the word, but what the power that comes behind it? Now that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is showing his power. We're the ones laughing and rejoicing, and Jake is out there on CNN crying. Yeah. He's out there on Channel 7 News crying. You know, they having funerals crying, you know? So what? This is, it's, it's, it's a turning of tables, man. You know? It's beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, that shows you the Lord is about balance. You know? You got uh -huh. something. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a scripture, but you can break it down. It's pretty much, uh, you know, in the same spirit what Char was saying. Uh, it says, uh, John chapter 16, verse 20. Verily, verily, I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, have sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. And now ye therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. You know, <laughs> you got it up. Yeah, yeah. So right, right now, man, we're, we're we're happy. You know what I'm saying? We're we're excited because Yahweh Shai is about to come back. You know what I'm saying? Because because uh, that woman represents Israel, and uh, and right now we're, we're catching hell. But you know, uh, when that baby is born, hey, uh, basically all that sorrow is over with, man. That baby. Being the nuclear destruction of Esau's uh, society, his world system, and also you have a shot coming to deliver us, man. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody going hey, in that in that time, can't can't, can't nobody say shit, man. Yeah. It, it finally happened. You know yeah. it, the reason why we doing this, the reason why brothers afflicted. You know what I'm saying? And you catch hell in this truth, man. Like that all adds up to, to that that. That uh, that salvation, man. You no, know, let's say uh, receiving receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. You yeah. know, so that's what that's what we want, man. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing better than that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I got I got a scripture. Uh, you want to break it down, Shalama? You know, mm -hmm. going back to them riots. Hey, because you know that's one of the major prophecies. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse uh, 17. And the land of Egypt, excuse me, I'm, I'm going to read it again. Isaiah chapter 19, verse uh, 17. And the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Mm -hmm. Everyone that maketh mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he have de determined against it. 
right? And, you know, the, the council of the Most High is, you know, putting that, that spirit upon Jake within these last times for us to be a terror unto what? A uh, 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 modern day Egypt, which is America, man. You know, and, and, and mentioning that clip of what I was uh, talking about uh, a few minutes ago, you know, that, that Edomite do, he said they're doing this because these Edomites are scared, man. And this was a so-called uh, white police officer himself. He kind of, you know, had the spirit of a Jake to me, you know, but he said they're doing these things because they're scared. They know that they're coming out of power, man. So this, this is why they're trying to bring these things to pass because they know that they're in as near as it gets into, like, with the, with the book of Job, man. You know, uh, when they're about to fill their belly, the most I shall uh, uh, rain upon them, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. So they, that time is coming, man. They're shaking in their little space boots, man. You know, like it's, it's, it's great joy to be within these last days, man. The, the scriptures say, um, I believe it's the book of Matthew. Let me try to uh, hunt it down real quick. I believe it's Matthew 10 and um, 23, I believe. Um, and while you're getting this, Salakia. Yeah. You know I'm saying, but what that guy said, which you may mention, you know I'm saying that's in harmony with the scriptures, right. Revelations 12 and 12. He said, for, de for the devil shall come upon you with great wrath, for he knows that he had but a short time. You know, he knows he's coming out of power, man. Yeah. Yeah, I he's can't. Um, out with a bang. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you know, it's exciting times, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the scripture I, I can't find it, but um, it pretty much said like how the how the prophets died awaiting you know uh, uh the promises you know the of the Lord. So for us to be within this time now, it's a joyous feeling, man. You know, men over two thousand years ago, you know, when you get into the book of Acts, they was asking the Lord, uh, are, are now God going to restore the kingdom unto Israel? So it's been a long time coming, man. How you got that song? Long time coming. It's been a long time coming, man. Reincarnation after reincarnation after reincarnation, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, we, we got a lot to look forward to, a lot to hope forward to. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we endure and be a part of that elect, man. You know? Yeah, I, I found a scripture for you, Ock, and it's heavy you said that because uh, the Yasha woman did a lesson speaking on that. I mean, um, like it says in Second Ezra, uh, I forget I forget what chapter, but the brother broke it down beautifully, man. Um, when the number of seeds is uh, fulfilled in you. Mm -hmm. So like you said, we having to come back in reincarnation and reincarnation, reincarnation. So we're bound by the will of Yahweh by Shemi Abu Shai because Ezra, he wanted, he wanted the end to come back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He wanted everybody to be born at once. But the <laughs> Lord said it ain't so. And then uh, the Lord told him uh, he would liken his judgment to a ring, you know, so that, that, that cycle of reincarnation, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we had to keep coming back until we came back during the time of the end. But I, I got a scripture for you. I, uh, hmm. It's two. I'm, I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna jump to the uh, other side. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse uh, 13, and it says, "These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them." And embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on, on the earth. Kind of, and, and you know, like I, I said, what they, they believed in them, they seen them afar off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that that's that hope when you see uh how we mentioned in camp yesterday, uh hope that is seen is not hope. But they seen them afar off, you know, like how um the scriptures say, like uh you get you gotta have vision, you know, uh where no vision is there that people perish. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's a part of the reason why we not consumed, man. Because the Lord have kept that that remnant, that cluster of grapes here that have the vision of the kingdom, that have the vision of everlasting righteousness, man. Where our people is rightfully ruling how we are supposed to be, you know? Yeah. Yep. yeah. And they always had it. They all they always had that that vision because they didn't receive it back then. But you know, uh, this is Hebrews 11 and uh, 39. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Mm. Verse 40, the Most High having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Right, and, and they received that, they obtained that good report by faith. So within the, you know, if we members of the elect, Lord willing, you know, in our past uh, incarnations upon the earth, 
you know, we pretty much sealed our lot with the Most High by having faith within them times. You know, during the times of the Greeks, during the times of, of, the, of the Romans, of the Babylonians, so on and so forth, by holding the name of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah and his Lord's and commandments near and dear into our hearts and not buckling nor forsaking the Lord for anything, for whatever trials and tribulations and afflictions that was brought upon us, man, by standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, as it says, you know, in the scriptures and using the examples of like, you know, uh, uh, Abraham, you know, that was found faithful unto the Most High. Examples like, you know, uh, uh, Daniel, you know what I'm saying? Songs of the Three Holy Children. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, not losing our integrity. You know, so therefore the elect have, have obtained the kingdom already. They're just waiting for the Lord to basically bring it, man. You know? It has to be played out. Yep. Huh? It's played out. We're just waiting for it to be played out. Yep. You know? And I, and I got that scripture you're looking for, Shalomah. Uh, the, the book of Matthew, chapter 13. I'm starting at verse 16. Verse 16. Huh. It says, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear mm -hmm. the things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I say, hey, you know we, My bad, you got it up. Nah, yeah, yeah. So like you're saying, we, we living in those times, man. We living in exciting times, you know. This is what the prophets yearned for. You know, and, and if you in this time now, you know, and, and you don't want these things to happen, you're not in the right spirit because the prophets of old were waiting for these things to happen. They couldn't wait to see these things, you know. So like the scriptures say, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophet. We just got to continue to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that he don't take that Holy Spirit from us, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that he continuously keep that fire upon us and wanting to see the fall of our enemies, man, you know. Yep, like I said, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Uh, like I said in Hebrews, they without us cannot be made perfect because if we are the prophets, that, that means we don't mean coming back. You know, mm -hmm. perfect being complete. So you didn't receive the promise back then, but you're going to receive it now, man. And that's that's some shit. Because I saw all the shit you went through in your past lives. Yeah. You know, hey, well, it's going to add up to this. You, you're going to get right. it now, man. Uh -huh. you know? mm -hmm. I got a uh, quick uh, precept. Uh, one of y'all can break it down. It's uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Yep. You got it, because I think you won't, man. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, fuck this life, man. Uh. Really, really, we can't have shit here. If, if, if you get one little thing that you like, man, hey, man, that, that shit don't last long, man. You know what I'm saying? So really, you just got to, hey, uh, like Brother Shark said, man, just pray and hope. Lord, keep doing this truth, man, because this one thing that the world can't take away from you. The Lord can take it away from you, but this one thing that Esau can't take from you, a woman can't take from you, like nobody, man. You know, a, a, a robber, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Man, down here in Jackson, man, these niggas still like crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga that stole my old laptop, you know what I'm saying, when I was, you know, living with a, a family member. But, hey, it could have been a family member that, that stole it, man. But the point is that, man, Jake steal any damn thing, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, but, but that's why I say lay, lay up for yourselves um, treasures in heaven, mm -hmm. you know? Thieves can't break through and steal, man. So, you Hey man, you 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 get you guys out there, man. Even the few sisters that watch us, stop holding on to this world. You know, and you get you got a lot of you so-called uh I want to say uh <laughs> so-called uh rapping Israelites, you know, uh you, you uh party prophets, you got your party passovers, y'all holding on to the world, man. You let let this shit go, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the brother just read the scripture, the Lord gonna give you the desires of your heart. The Lord know we love music. The Lord know you love women. The Lord know you love food. You love good food. Like everything you like, man. Anything that, that you can imagine, man. The Lord is able to do beyond what our minds can think. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can you can fantasize all day. That's why I say uh how the eyes not satisfied with seeing, nor the ears filled with hearing. You know what I'm saying? That's why Amen. He saw the devil, man. This devil, I mean, you know, the elder broke it down. Like it's lawful to watch it, but he saw creating porn and shit. That shit wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking billion dollar industry, you know? 
But he, Esau knows, Esau studies the mind of man, that the, the eyes are not satisfied with seeing. So JB on the fucking computer, just watching ass all day and shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, fuck this side, man. And going back to you guys out there rapping, man, like Death Before the Sun and uh, Purple Rain and uh, man, I, man, you guys ain't right, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we taking the kingdom, yeah, want to be like future and shit. <laughs> that whole spirit, man, basically, y'all still in the world. Yeah. And and if you plugged into this world, you plugged into the Matrix, you don't want to see the Matrix get destroyed. That's why you niggas want to say that we going off teaching about how the Mark of the Beast is the chip. The Mark of the Beast is the chip, all right? But see, hey, man, Jake want to make excuses, man, because at the end of the day, what it is, y'all not ready to die, man, because y'all holding on to this world, man. Fuck this place, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, one of you bros got it. Yeah, you gotta show them. Uh, yeah, you can try to wrap up. You know the uh, you know time limits and stuff like that, so you can make a last statement or whatever. Kung Kung, yeah, I'm gonna just make this last little point, and I just got a scripture to close it out as far as the race rise and things like that. But like, you know, it's a saying, you know, to stand back, you like you should stand back from situations, and that's when you get the perfect view. You know what I'm saying here it is, the Lord called us out of the world. You know what I'm saying we don't partake in ways in the world. You know what I'm saying. So for the simple fact that the Lord called us out of the world, Lord willing, we chosen, you know, we're able to see this world for what it is, man. Complete wickedness, you know, and and, and the way that he called us out of the world, because what we read in the scriptures now, we know what's righteous, you know, and we've been living in wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Because we're living in Babylon the Great. You know, you you speak to the average Jake, they 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 they're OK with homosexuality. Their, their thing is, as long as they don't come with me with it, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? But he that justified the wicked and contempt the just, you know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to bring judgment upon that individual, roughly paraphrasing. So here it is, that same individual saying, I ain't got no problem with homosexuality, it's just as long as they don't bring it towards me. But they out there cursing us out there, cursing us out while we out there is on the highways and byways. They they already picked their poison. God. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father is the ultimate equalizer, man. You know? But um, just... Just to go back, you know, just to the uh, scripture, you know, to wrap it up. Um, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 9, I'm gonna start at verse 12. It says, turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will re render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me, filled the bow with Ephraim, and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece. And made thee as the sword of a mighty man. One of y'all brothers got it. Con, yeah, this uh quick uh, two precepts. This is uh, the book of uh, Job, chapter 19. I started uh, verse 12. His troops come together and raise up their way against me and encamp round about my tabernacle. He have put my brethren far from me, and my acquaintances are very estranged from me. My kinsfolk have failed, and my familiar friends have forgotten me. Uh, they that dwell in mine house and my maids count me for a stranger. I am an alien in thy sight. So, you know, that goes into, you know, you can apply that into, you know, like with the race war is coming, that's going to lead what unto martial law, and, you know, and us being separated from our family and, and friends and things of that nature. But, you know, like, uh, you know, because I was saying, you know, uh, these all American Israelites, they love the world. They want to stay uh, confined to that family. They don't want to lose their lives in order to gain life for you. How about Shemiah shot? They want put it on both sides, which it doesn't work that way, man. So it's like you, you choose one side or you choose the other, man. No, we choose your how about Shemiah shot. We don't choose our families, man. We willing to forsake all of these things to and the kingdom law willing to inherit them and and a hundredfold, man. You know? And um real quick, this uh last precept I got this is uh Sirach chapter 43. And verse 30, when ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet he will far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. And, you know, the point was, like, you know, exalt the Lord as much as you can, because even yet he will far exceed. So whatever you think that the Most High is able to do within your life, whatever you have faith in, the Most High is going to exceed that, man, times a hundred, man. So, you know, that's what we're looking for to, you know, for, for that grace and mercy as we enter these times of Jacob's trouble for the Lord to get us through and for him to, to show us some miraculous things and the dangers and the pitfalls. But Lord willing, you know, we're going to make it through, man. You know, man, that was a heavy scripture in Job. 
Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, man. God, leave. Hey, man. This, 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 the script is really a script, man. Yeah. It's, it's really a script. Like you, you picture martial law when you read that, man. And you picture yeah. the the, uh, the race wars with, with the scripture uh, the brother Shaw read, man. You know, hey man, th this is a gift, man. You know, it, fuck this world, man. You brothers, you know, you're going through your different afflictions, man. Hey man, as long as you got the truth, mm. you know, mm. that's all that matter, man. Yeah, you know, uh, I got the little saying. I say, you know, uh. You know, uh, take your afflictions and, and add it for more spiritual uh, uh, gas, man. You know, add it as more fuel to the fire, you know, to do this work of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, man. You know, fuck anything else, man. You know, it's All like right. rude speech, you know. But, um, you know, uh, with that, you know, uh, we hope this uh, quick segment was edifying, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, double one to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Black out there, doing this work of faith and living with love, truth, sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.